Do I know you? No, but I know you. I'm a big fan of your work. How are you now? Yes, I've been following you for quite some time. And what is it that you think that I do? Well, I know you only go out at night. You wonder why you never venture out during the day? State your business or be gone with you. I'm a detective. I've got a case about the disappearance of small children. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? I can't say that I do. You know, I've been out partying all night. I'd like to go inside now. Mind if I join you? Sure. We'll have a drink together. That sounds swell. For I know the plans that I have for you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Jeremiah 29, 11. Grace. Not me. Not now, not ever. I've done so enough grace in this house. What is that supposed to mean? 
Mama wants us to say grace. Mama also probably wanted to live a little longer. And we say our prayers every morning, noon, and night to make that happen. But now she's gone. That's out of our control. Yes, you're right. It's not out of his. All right? You know me. I have to have substantial proof before I believe in something. So forgive me if I'm having my doubts. So what do you call the Bible? It's a telephone book of fortune cookie phrases. Life got you feeling hectic? Turn to Psalms and find your peace. Don't talk like that, Dad. What? You're the one that's always yelling about freedom of speech. Yeah, I believe in the freedom of speech if you're passionate about something. And the thing is, you're not. You're just hurting because mom is gone, and that's understandable. I feel broken too. So do I. But mom would want us to be happy. And say our prayers. Well then, y'all go ahead. Y'all were passionate about that. Greetings from your friend in Transylvania, D. Yes? My name is Jack. I'm here to see Mina. How are you? Are you sure not just pretending you're interested because you heard about the dowry? I don't know what you're talking about. I merely heard that Mina was one of the fairest girls in all the land, as they say. And I wanted to meet her. And who are you? I'm the gatekeeper. And you're not going to pass me that easy. How'd you meet my little sister? Friend of a friend. Which friend? You said something about a dowry. You know what I'm talking about. Cut to shit. If either one of us girls gets married off, our mother left us both a prize dowry to make sure we're taken care of. So are you available? Maybe I'm not interested in you. Not interested in me? I'm not interested in men in general. Ah. Well, these are progressive times, aren't they? Well, she's a very lucky woman. Not that Rick Salish, you're a gold digger, but can you please get off my porch? I'm expecting a package. Who is it? Oh, it's no one. He was just leaving. Mm. What's his name? I'm, my name is... Just leaving. That's what your name is. So run along now. Why'd you have to run him off like that? He was here to see me, wasn't he? He doesn't care about you, Mina. All he's after is the money. How do you know? I can tell, all right. There's a reason I don't go out with boys anymore. Too much drama. Maybe I want to experience that. Maybe I want to go out and have the world have my share of the pain. Do you really want to get your heart broken? To get robbed of your inheritance? I mean, why did mom have to make a dowry? She didn't want us to be alone. Well, you can't buy love. Where are you off to, Dad? Gotta follow up on something. You have a potential story. I thought you were gonna take me to work. I'll take you to work, Mina. So, where are you off to, Dad? Uh, Transylvania. Sounds spooky. Do you know somebody who lives there? Nope, got a postcard. And you're not gonna do a little more research before you go out? Checked it out online. Says it's a ghost town. Then, why are you going? It's a ghost town. Who says postcard? And what? That's a potential story in itself. I'll try and check in, but I you don't know, hear from you in a couple days. You know where to find me. Don't you think that's a little crazy? 
I'm a little. I just need to get out of this house for a little while. Fair enough. Enjoy yourself. You ready for work? Yeah, I just gotta grab with you guys. Okay. Get your shit and let's go. No, well, actually, I was looking for you. For me? Yes, you're uh, Mina, aren't you? I am. Um, who are you? My name is Arthur. I have traveled several hours, and I was told that I could find you here. And who told you this? My father. He's the uh, district manager, and so uh, he has access to all the accounts. And so he, he, he told me that you'd be here today. Why? I've got a lot of formal events coming up, but unfortunately I don't have a date, so my father really frowns upon me if I don't have someone there in my arm. So, what, you want me to be somebody on your arm? Yes, if you'd like to, that is. Well, I haven't anything fancy to wear at these events. Oh, well, if uh, you need to go shopping, I can extend you my credit line and you can go get whatever you need. I'm kind of in this phase where I like to wear a lot of black. Is that going to be an issue? Well. Black is definitely an elegant color, but I was thinking something a little bit more formal. Red? Red, maybe? Can we talk about this a bit later? I'm, our supervisor's walking around, and I don't want to be caught not working. My father is the district manager. Yeah, but I'm on the clock. That doesn't make it right for me to talk while I'm on the clock. Can, can I get your number? I can call you after. Sure, you have your phone on you? No, we're not supposed to have them on the floor. Here, why don't you plug yours in here? Alright, I'm gonna send you a text and just uh, make sure to give me a call when you get off. Hello, this is Arthur. I hope you had a great day at work and I look forward to talking to you tonight. Call me when you get off. I can't believe that dumb bitch actually thinks I'm interested in her. I mean, can you believe that you actually think that she would be my type? You can call me a gold digger all you want, but all I care about is that pocket change. Sorry, sweetie. <laughs> Oh God, what happened? Did you get fired or something? No. Did your favorite celebrity pass away? No. Were you thinking about mom? I'm always thinking about mom and that's not why I'm crying. Then why are you crying? Some guy asked me out at work and it's, I gave him my number and he was talking crap about me. Where is this man so that may end him? Please don't do anything. His dad's the district manager. Please don't do anything. I don't care if his dad's the president of the United States. He doesn't lie to my baby sister, then talk shit about her. What did the ass hat say? He called me a... a dumb bitch. That stupid f tard called you the dumb bitch? Oh, he's gonna be the dumb bitch when I get done with him. Right now I'm deciding on what to cut off so that I can shove it up his ass so every time he sits down, he'll remember who he can't mess with. Yeah, the Harker sisters are not to be trifled with. No, we're not. Just, Lucy, please don't do anything. Why are you defending him? I I'm defending my job. No, I lie for you, but murder's a pretty big lie. 
if you call my little sister a dumb bitch, then that's a pretty good way to get yourself killed. I'm glad to see someone has my back. Always. So what are you doing here? You get lost or something? I got a postcard. From who? It wasn't from me. Or me. Or me. Not me. So who did you get a postcard from? All it said is D. Who, who's D? Everybody knows D. Don't talk about the master that way. Hmm. Where is she? said anything about living. Sometimes you have to die a little to really be yourself. Careful cat. Play with fire. You're gonna get burned. I'm just trying to make him feel more comfortable. Do you feel welcome here, Jonathan? You're the one. What do you mean, I'm the one? You're the one that he wants. I don't know if I can resist myself. Jonathan, I've been waiting for you. 
Boys, I've made a bit of a mess in the garage. Go see if you can put Humpty Dumpty back together again. Do you like my dress? If you don't like it, I'll change. Too little or not enough? Shh. Don't say anything until I've shown you the bedroom. Who are you? You can call me D. What does that stand for? Dominatrix. It stands for anything you want it to, Jonathan. Well, why did you call me here? Because I see an opportunity. An opportunity for what? If you use my vast experience combined with your family's assets, there will be nothing to stand in our way. My family's assets? I understand that your wife set aside some money. So that's it? You're only interested in money? No, no, I'm interested in you. Aren't you interested in me? No, I, I, I can't, I'm, I'm still grieving my wife. What are you doing with that ring? Don't you know? Your wife is dead. It's time for you to move on, Jonathan. Don't you want to have some fun? I, I, I can't. She wouldn't do that to me. Oh, yes, she would. A woman's fire is hard to quench beyond the grave. I guarantee if it was you and not her, your wife would be f***ing some stranger right now to forget about you. No, she wouldn't. What is it going to take for you to give yourself to me? It's not you. It's me. You're not Miranda. Oh, yes, I am. I look like Miranda. I smell like Miranda. I even taste like Miranda. I guess I'm Miranda. No. I thought you wanted to be together with me, Jonathan. No. I can't control myself when I'm around you, John. No! You're a hard sell. I've never had to work so hard to get somebody to want me. I hope you don't mind. I'm taking a bath. I've been so dirty. Doesn't matter if you wash off what's on the outside. It's the heart that matters. Well spoken. But what if I don't have a heart? I'm heartless, Jonathan. I just need some attention. What do you mean? Your wife? She meant to help them. What she didn't realize is she made it really difficult for them to survive. Join me, and we can protect them together. But you're just trying to use them. What am I going to do? Marry one of them? Lucy is on the fence about which way she goes. Good to know, but I'm not on a fence. I want you. You want me? Oh yes. Don't you want your daughters to be safe? They already have each other. But that's not enough. You are good, my dear, but you are not enough alone. They need a maternal figure, someone they can fight in. And that would be you. If you want it to be, and you, let's face it, you are a little pin up. So, what are we gonna do about that? Groupie. 
Hey, I'm here for the, um... If you're here for Mina, you chicken shit, you better back the hell off. She doesn't want to talk to you. I'm not here for Mina. Then what the hell are you here for? I'm here to fix your AC unit. Why didn't you say so? Well, I tried to. You're due for your yearly checkup. Okay. You want me to show it to you? Um, the AC unit, that is. No, I'm pretty sure I can find it. Well, I'm not doing anything. Let me walk around with you? Yeah, sure, if you want to. You know you don't have to stay out here if you have somewhere to be. Well, I don't. What if I'm only watching you just get someone to do it next time? You got to remember all this a year from now? Hopefully by then I'll be moved on. Well, what do you mean? Well, I'm nearly 30 and I still live at home with my dad and my sister. You know, I actually did see a statistic that said 25% of college graduates plan on moving back in with their parents as soon as they graduate. Well, I'm not a college grad. My my mom died when I was a senior in high school. Sorry to hear about that. I still miss her. I guess that's why I've been going through a phase. What kind of phase? The way I dress. Everybody thinks I'm a lesbian. Aren't you? Why are you curious? I usually have a radar that's pretty spot on. I guess you're just giving it mixed signals. I do that on purpose. If guys thought I was straight, then they would never leave me alone. Poor Mina, all the attention's on her. Is, uh, is Mina your sister? Yeah, don't get any ideas. So Mina has all the luck with the guys, huh? They don't care about her, they just want her money. Well, you know, that's not all a relationship is supposed to be based off of. What do you think a relationship should be based on? I can't give away all of my secrets. Right now, I'm an open book. You can ask me anything. When was the last time you, uh... had these coils changed? They're dirty as can be. I don't know. That's, that's a dad question. Is your dad here? No, he's not. Well, don't go throwing any wall of parties. I wasn't planning on it. And what were you planning on? Having dinner? I mean, the girls gotta eat too, right? Yeah, well, you know, every once in a while, I do this thing called eating. <laughs> every once in a while, do you ever do it with somebody else? I don't know. if. My dad's not home, he can't give me his permission. You're almost 30, and you dress like you like other girls, just to scare off men. Since when do you need anybody else's permission? Mia, this is Dee. She'll be staying with us for a while. Staying with us? For how long? Until the wedding. I'm not getting married, Dad. Oh, but we are. But how long have you known her? She's an old friend. Even though we've been away, I've always felt like she's been by my side. You've got to be kidding me. Definitely not. Save the day. Dad? Hello, Lucy. There's someone I would like you to meet. This is Dee. 
She sent the postcard. You sent my dad a postcard? Who does that anymore? I do. It's something nice about getting to put something in your hand. Dee will be with us for a while, until the wedding. Mina's getting married? No, but we are. I'm looking forward to being your mother. You will never be my mother, Kitty. Who the hell do you think you are coming Stop. in here like this? Stop. I'm sorry about all this. It's all right, I'm fine. That child, however, she needs some serious help. You again? Yes. It's funny how things come full circle now, isn't it? You're a doctor. I'm a psychiatrist. I'm here to help you sort out your any problems you might be having. What? That word is plural. Doc. I don't have problems. I have a problem. All right. So what's your problem? I got home from a date last night. A date. So how was she? This isn't about the date. I need to know as much information as I can to put together a good uh, picture of the problem. So, you got back from a date? How was the date? It was fine. I felt we had a lot, we clicked and had a lot of chemistry. And so I get home and I'm in a great mood and then I see my dad sitting in the color recline with that crazy woman. How do you know she was crazy? I just got that vibe from her. Now she's sitting there and I've never seen her before. And she, then my dad tells me they're getting married. And she says she's going to be my mom. Well, she's marrying your dad, isn't she? Then she will be your mom, legally speaking, anyway. You're missing the point. I have never seen her before. She says she's going to be my mom. Well, maybe it was love at first sight. Maybe, but that doesn't make her my mom. So you decided to attack her? I lost it. You lost what? My cool! Well, that doesn't seem too hard to believe. Having known you before, you seem to have a short fuse. So what pushed you over the edge? You were a little bit uh, frazzled, weren't you? Yeah, she did. Because she said that she was going to be your mother? You're telling me that if someone came into this room that you never seen, she said she's going to be your mom. You wouldn't flip out. No, I wouldn't. My parents are still together and happily married. I have a hard time empathizing with your situation. My parents aren't divorced. My mom's dead. Yes, they are divorced. Till death do you part, right? What, are you gonna get angry just because I tell you the truth? Who's the gatekeeper now? What's wrong with her? Well, some people cope with things in different ways. You know, stress duress. Your daughter's been lashing out very violently against people and she's a danger to herself and everyone else around her. We're gonna have to keep her in solitary confinement until she calms down a good bit. After that we might be able to get her into some group therapy. Is this really the best treatment for her? Oh, oh yes, definitely. We can't have her having another episode. As long as she's reacting violently to people, we're going to have to keep her under close scrutiny. But I promise, sir, I will keep Lucy under close watch. Thank you, Doctor. Yes. Hey, hey. At least I have someone in the cell next to me. It drives me crazy not having someone to talk to. How long have you been here? For too long. I just wish they would set me free. But they say I'm a danger to those around me. So what are you talking to me for? Well, we're neighbors. I just wanted to get to know you. What's your name? Lucy. 
Oh, I love Lucy. <laughs> Why are you here? Because I'm a danger to those around me. Are you? Well, good thing there's a wall here. Did you hear the master? What? The master speaks to me when I'm asleep. Uh, who is he? Not he, she. She's all powerful. She's a ruler of the night. She commands the darkness and a pledge of allegiance. You should as well. Just leave me alone. You're, you're in solitary confinement. You're already alone. But just because there are bars, just because there are walls, it doesn't mean the master can't find you. She's right, you know. Hello, Nina. Get away from me. No need to be hostile. I'm just here for business. What? I'm the regional manager of the store. Don't lie. Seriously, you and I are going to be seeing a lot more of one another. You want to follow me to the deli sit-down area? No, no, I'm not going to talk with you. I'm going to ask Mr. Randall about this. Well, you know where to find me. May I have a seat? Mr. Randall says you're corporate. I still don't believe you. I think you just have a problem with authority, Mina. I'm recording this. If you feel that you must, go right ahead. Very professional of you to cover your bases. What do you want? I just came to talk to you about your career life here. How old are you, Mina? 18. 18. Well, that's great. You're already in a department. But right now, you're working part-time. Little four to five hour shifts. The store manager doesn't even think that you can handle it. I can. Well, the store manager doesn't think that you can. And I honestly don't think that you can. You're going to be 28 working here part-time. Do you know why? Because you're a problem. We don't promote problems. You're like a little kid. You're immature. You think you're good at your job. Yes. You're not. You're a slob. You always wear your shirt untucked. You never wear your name tag. You're pathetic. I'm showing the company this video. Oh, I'm scared. Who are you going to show? Who are you going to call? Do you want to call corporate now or later? You aren't going to amount to anything at this organization. Bad day. Should we just leave me alone? Want a cigarette? Just go! Yeah, my doctor says they're bad for me. But I don't believe them. Maybe I just like living life on the edge. Why are you talking to me? Just making conversation. Thought maybe you'd want somebody real to talk to. I guess I was wrong. What do you mean? Have a nice day. What do you mean? Well, I know what's going on. I know why you can't see anything on that video you just took. I've been following these situations. Usually I don't get to say these words, but that lady that wants to marry your father, she's a vampire. Who are you? The name is Van. I'm a bounty hunter. This lady's been terrorizing people quite some time. She caught my attention the other day because a former colleague called me from the mental institution. Saw something particular on the uh, closed circuit television. A man talking to thin air, holding the door open for thin air. Yeah, so I looked him up in that poor schmuck. I followed him home. And I saw her. So and then I followed her here. I watched. I learned. Is she really from corporate? Could be. But if she's a vampire, she's probably got men under her, under her spell. Well, what does she want from me? She wants you out of the way. Your sister out of the way. She doesn't want you at all. She wants your father. Use him up. He's a resource. Use him up? Yeah. Either as a sex slave or a killer. What about the wedding? There won't be one. 
Think about it. What is a marriage? It's a holy matrimony. Vampires are evil, and all religious signs and symbols repel them. So. My father hasn't been wearing his wedding ring lately. When was the last time you saw that? He, he went to Transylvania. Well, you see, she made him take it off, so I guess that's where I'm headed. I'm going with you. This ain't your fight. Yeah, but it's my father, and I'm not going to sit around with that bitch keep her fangs in him. thought that's what you said. Yes. Is Mina home? She's still at work. Well, I just uh, checked in there and I didn't see her. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I just don't understand why she'd leave someone as good looking as you hanging. Are you her sister? Can we quit talking about Mina? It shouldn't matter who I am. It should only matter how you feel. How I feel? Oh yeah, how you feel right now. What do you mean? Don't you want me? Um, I don't even know you, lady. Does it matter? Well, I don't mess around with people I don't know. Oh, we ain't gonna be messing around. We're gonna be getting straight to the point. Well, I'm gonna go. Can you tell Mina that I came by? One thing about Mel Arrival, it's all the blood that's pumping down there. <laughs> your cards right. You could have been one of my love slaves. But no, you aren't interested. Fatal mistake. Hey, hey you. You want to know what the master said for you to do? No. Kill yourself. Open up your wrist and let the blood flow. I'm a little tied up right now. Bash your head against the wall until your brains are no more. I don't hate myself that much. C can you just leave me alone? I would if the master would leave me alone, but she doesn't like you. She doesn't want you to interfere with her plans. What are her plans? She's turning your father into one of her kind. How can she be stopped? Oh, very clever. I'm not giving you information to tell you how to hurt my master. That's something you will just have to figure out yourself if you ever get out of here. Master wants you to die here. I'll die when I'm good and ready. I'll remind you every five minutes. Shut the f up or I'll find a way to come over there and bash your brains against the wall. So, how long have you been doing this? What, driving? Since I was 16. I meant bounty hunting. Oh, I've dabbled in it since I uh, dropped out of high school. Didn't like high school too much. I didn't fit in. I don't fit in either. Yeah, so I chose along the road. Bounty hunting's a good paycheck and all. But. The more dangerous it is, then the bigger paycheck. Family put up the uh, funds for all of this. Yeah, it's right our family. The queen corrupted her, killed the brother, the father, and the son. The grandfather's the one putting up all the money for this. Anything I need to get old queen, it's at my disposal. And what do you need to do that? Oh, there's a wide variety of things, but the thing that works best is religious symbols, holy water, scriptures. I've got plenty of all those. Nothing can keep them mother suckers at a distance from one of these. What about me? Do you have another one of those? Yep, this here's my side piece. How is that fair? 
Oh, at least you didn't get a water bottle. <laughs> yeah, you can still squirt them. Keep your eyes open. What are we looking for? Something shiny. The wedding ring should glimmer if you shine a light on it. Here. Nice work, kid. You got the ring. Hey. It's not gonna help if you scream. Nobody could even hear you. Nobody can hear you. It's just you and me. It's just you and me here. Uh, no. You are very pretty, aren't you? Uh, okay. You trying to say something to me? What's that you're trying to say? Oh, so that you don't think you should be here in the first place? Is that it? That you think that you've been wrongfully placed in here? Oh, that's not it, is it? Okay, okay, are you gonna be good? Gonna be good? All right, let's hear what you have to say. What did you want to say to me? Thank you. Thank you? Oh, I haven't even done anything to you yet. Oh, yes, you have. You know, you can ask me questions if you like. I believe we're to the point where I pick you up from a mental institution without any questions. I'm glad you trust me so much. So, do you want to go home? No, I have a, a problem that needs fixing. And I really appreciate your help. Something wrong with your AC? No, you did a good job of that already. I want you to kill my future stepmother. You're telling me you're not serious. Shit, you are serious. Um, well, I'm, I'm not sure that's really a good idea. She's a monster. I'm sure she can't be that bad. You're probably find her attractive. <laughs> what does she have? Short red hair and a wearing a straight jacket? Those are the only kind of girls I find attractive. Whatever. Take me home. Welcome home, Mena. You've been a busy girl, skipping out on work to go after something, but you feel real safe right now because you have the home field advantage. Let's change that up a bit. Welcome to my world.
kind of way is that to talk to your mother? You're weak, aren't you? Your little slaves are gone. My father's the only one you have left. Yes, I am weak, but you forget one thing. I have you. Ted, what are you doing? He's under my spell, and soon you will be too. Don't try to fight it. It's too late for love. Too late for mercy. What made you this way? I remember I was like you a long time ago. I was young and beautiful. It was the age of exploration. I was put into captivity. They didn't feed me enough. They only used me for my sex. I realized the only way I could survive was to exploit the ones around me. I began to suck their blood, draining their life force. Soon, their power became my power. It was a shared interest. And then, I began to change. You're gonna be like me. Be my servant forever. Not while I'm still breathing. Father, we thank you for the blessings you've bestowed upon us, and for the food in front of us. Now, 